I created a company called Bump Top, uh, which was my ma started off as a master's thesis. A year and a half ago, it was, uh, we sold it to Google. Okay, this is Bump Top. 3D desktop user interface, uses physics to try to give life to uh, you know, the, the lifeless kind of pixels on the screen, uses multi-touch, also using the side of the finger and, and uh, you know, using, uh, trying to make things like a real desk. It's like you can use all five fingers, flip through objects, trying to take a fresh look on the kind of desktop metaphor that was you know, more or less the same, and thinking about how we can use multi-touch uh, to do that. So this, this is a photo, and to crop it, you just slice it um, like it was a real physical object, and it crops. You can rotate around the space uh, as if it was a 3D world uh, with your fingers, um, and trying to make it much more intuitive and visceral and uh, that sort of thing. So I thought, like, you know, this idea of overnight success. Um, I remember when our first Bump Top video made it big on YouTube that, you know, six months should be all it takes to, you know, figure out whether this is going anywhere and should be able to give up or whatever. Uh, and so we had this YouTube video. In a couple months, it got 4 million views. It got really popular. There was interest from Steve Jobs and Apple and got invited to speak at TED. But through all that, it still took two years to raise any money for the, the company to fund it and to, to push it forward. And it took four years after all that to you know, get acquired by Google. So it was, it was an a, immense kind of continuous journey um, with, with lots of rejection. The best example of rejection was from Google during those four years. You know, I, I, was, uh, I had a job interview, and I, 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 didn't, I didn't get the job. I mean, I, I didn't pass the phone screen even. They didn't even invite, you know, I didn't get to have an in-person interview. So this is an example of the kind of constant rejection that you have to, you know, be prepared to deal with, I think, as you, you know, want to go through this journey. This is the letter, uh, the email that I got when we found out we were going to be acquired, or that Google was interested. And, you know, I still remember, you know, the day I got this email, because we were in Silicon Valley, we'd flown down from Toronto, had VC meetings with all the biggest VCs, and it was just like one no after another, like, no, we don't see the fit, you're, you know, all this kind of stuff, you're too early, blah, blah, blah. And it was just super depressing. Like, it was, you know, we had all this wind in our sails, and, um, and then we got this email. Like, at the end, it was like literally a Friday. We got this email, and it was like, okay, I mean, now, like, our fortunes, you know, might change. Like, we were, we were depressed. Like, we didn't know what we were going to do. So it's funny how, like, you know, this constant struggle up and down stuff can just spin on a dime like that. Another idea I had was that, I'd be a real big deal, you know what I mean, when I, <laughs> after getting acquired. I mean, it's like, it's, it's a big deal, right? Um, I thought. And then I moved to Silicon Valley, which you know, I realized is kind of like a Hollywood for nerds. I mean, like, it's, I remember I was di eating dinner one day, four or five friends, and it hit me, like, every one of these people has been bought by some other company. Like, where, like, it was all 20-somethings, you know what I mean? It was like, okay, so maybe not a big deal. <laughs> and then, I, I mean, I guess the, the point of, of the, for me, was to realize that you're never quite done, and it's worth the mental exercise of thinking that if you're living your life for some goal, some achievement that which, once you reach, you know, you'll start to reassess, and I would encourage, you know, to think about what it's, just accelerate that process, do the mental exercise of what if I had that, what would I do next, and then that'll help you kind of reassess, I think, whether it's worth that and, you know, how you might shift that and what. And for me, it was figuring out, um, well, I figured out, like, it's about that kind of what got me here in the first place, that kind of creative spark, the, you know, you know push, pushing around ideas, interfaces, digital stuff. Um, and I want to show you a piece of technology, which I've, I've, uh, a company I'm working with called String, uh, that really has me excited. It's augmented reality technology, that the quality of which I think is really high. So this is a picture of a sneaker. I'm going to go ahead and put this down on this table here. And then on the iPad, you'll see that there's a virtual sneaker on the screen. And I can turn it and touch it rotate, and it's as if it's really in the room. So I, if you even look, I, I can go right up to it, and I can see inside it. It's... Now, you can apply this concept not just to inanimate objects, but um, to, to characters. So here's a little character here who's living in this marker, and I can tell him, hey, go over here to this corner of the table. <laughs> Come over here closer. <laughs> so the other cool thing is he literally like lives in this marker. So let me just grab it. So I can just grab him and you know dangle him upside down. Oops. <laughs> so put him back. So the uh, and then the last application I'll show you is um, it's a three D drawing tool, which is kind of interesting. So let's just draw a little square. It's a little bit noisy here, but now I'll move it around. You can see that square I just drew is like living in a three D space around the room. Um, 
And I will actually, I can go in and draw, let me draw another circle. Oops. And then I'll move back a little bit, draw another one. And another one. Oops, so it's a little bit noisy. So you can see, let me just, let's move to the right here. And you can see that those are living off the page. And let's just complete it with one last line through the whole thing. And so in a way, you can create this kind of abstract sculpture. Let's just move to the right here. And you can see this like, it's living off, you know, coming off this page basically. So that's a piece of technology I'm pretty excited about. And, um, you know, I just wanted to share that story with you and, and uh, kind of give you an idea of what, you know, what's got me kind of jazzed up and excited again and kind of complete that circle. So thank you very much.